Our firm was founded in 1998 during the heart of the Asian financial crisis. It took advantage of both bonds and equities that were trading at pennies on the dollar. The firm size today is approximately $3 billion. The client base is made up of institutional investors, both pensions, endowments, sovereign wealth funds, and high net worth individuals. The culture of the firm can be defined essentially as owner operators. We have 17 partners today, each of whom are owners of the firm. The partners enjoy benefits both as owners as well as uh, employees, and uh, the culture is founded on the basis of value investing. We'll go into the philosophy of the firm in greater detail in future questions, I'm sure. Clients uh, at Dalton Investments invest in our various funds as well as our managed and separately managed accounts. These include global funds focusing on Japan, uh, global emerging markets, global mandates, as well as Asia-specific mandates. The funds are managed uh, independently, and I am the sole trigger puller, if you will, on the funds. Uh, we work in a team of analysts made up of 14 individuals who come from all over the world, including Korea, Taiwan, Japan, Peru, Australia, uh, and China. Dalton Investments philosophy is based on the value investment concepts created both by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd in the 1930s, as well as Warren Buffett today. We work within that spectrum of value investors where we consider companies that are at the cross section of value and growth. We do not believe that value investing excludes growth in investments. Therefore, we utilize the following four philosophical criteria. Number one, we like to invest in great businesses. Number two, we like to invest in companies trading with a margin of safety. Item number three, we like to invest in managements who have a strong alignment of interest with minority non-control shareholders. Number four, we like to invest in companies whose managements have a phenomenal track record in reallocating the cash flows generated by the companies they manage. And we like to engage with managements both from an ESG perspective, where the environment, sustainability of companies and the corporate governance are key aspects of our investment philosophy. We don't just sit quietly as shareholders. We engage with managements both verbally and through letter writing, as well as utilizing shareholder democracy through shareholder proposals at the annual meetings to better influence management's capital allocations and to allow other investors to share their views through shareholder democracy. Value investing at Dalton Investments is most important for the use of both margin of safety and alignment of interest. Alignment of interest for those who have followed Charlie Munger's involvement with Warren Buffett over the years is most important at Dalton Investments in the use of value investing. So companies that are cheap are not simply companies that we focus on. Therefore, um, some people will have understood the concept of cigar butts, basically the idea of picking up a cigar off the street, which has a couple of puffs le left. These we view as value traps and therefore tend to avoid these uh, investments at all costs. The idea of alignment of interests provides us with the safety of understanding that management's interests and our interests are aligned. Therefore, the concept uh, helps when understanding our view of the value investment.
The opportunity in Japan today is made up of tremendously inexpensive companies coupled with government support at all levels. We've seen over the last three years, the government instituting the corporate governance code starting in 2014 with the shareholder stewardship code followed in 15 by the shareholder corporate governance code that was approved by the diet followed by numerous tax incentive programs both for management as well as for companies to unlock value which has been trapped for many many years in the tokyo equity market more recently we've had support from the japanese stock exchange the jpx in the form of um, major announcements and pronouncements forcing companies to explain or define why their shares trade at a discount to book. This is quite unique for the Japanese market in that over 40% of Japanese companies today trade at a discount to book value. Very unusual in the global equity markets. So using the JPX's support of defining and explaining how companies will get to one times book at a minimum helps give another tailwind, if you will, along with the government's tailwind of corporate governance reform, as well as shareholder activism, which we see today as quite a major tailwind. We are participating in the activities of shareholders, as I say, through shareholder democracy by putting shareholder proposals on the ballots of nearly every company we invest in. This is to utilize shareholder democracy and gain support from other shareholders who are also interested in unlocking the values that are clearly available in the Japanese equity market today. Some of the risks faced by investors in Japanese equity include the demographic shift that Japan has clearly faced over the last 30 years. It is the oldest society and the fastest aging society in the world. This provides a headwind, if you will, to government support and is the, as probably the largest danger to all investing in Japan. Therefore, we have historically avoided the areas which demographics essentially are the backbone for, including areas such as real estate, railroads, and utilities. These sectors also have been avoided historically because pricing for the companies in these industries is usually set by the government due to political pressure. So dangers include demographics and therefore are reflected mainly in the various industries which will be impacted the most by demographics. The other risks may include government material uh, easing of monetary policy, which we see today by the Bank of Japan, therefore reducing the value of the yen versus all other major global currencies. On the one hand, this helps industrial companies in their export related ventures, and we try and take advantage of this in our portfolios. But on the other hand, it makes inflation a serious potential problem in Japan as imported goods, values and prices go way, way up, causing difficulties in the supply chain of some industrial companies and clearly putting pressure on consumer spending in Japan. In Japan, we focus on the best companies that Japan has to offer. Some of the themes within our portfolios include game software. In the 1996 period, when we were first approached to manage Japanese equities, I took a walk around my children's playrooms and turned over the various toys to find out where they were made. And by my surprise, most, if not all of the toys were designed and built in Japan. Companies that you've all heard of include Sony, Nintendo, Capcom, Starmica, etc. And these software companies are some of the greatest companies in the world. And you may find them sprinkled throughout our portfolios of Japanese equities. At 
Dalton in Investments, we currently hold Sony. This is a company that we've held for clients for many years. It is a conglomerate that really has historically traded an enormous discount to its various sum of the parts. The company is a leader in financial services. It's a leader in PlayStation and game software. It's a leader in sensors for automobiles um, and other, other industrial uses, as well as being one of the most famous music, television, and movie producers. Most recently, Sony has decided to utilize one of the government's tax advantages to basically distribute 80% of its financial services business to shareholders. This has unlocked a tremendous amount of value, and we believe that long-term, Sony will continue to unlock value throughout its conglomerate in order to maximize the shareholder value for all shareholders, utilizing government benefits. The mandate that we have been given by Alliance Trust differs from the mandate that we have with the Nippon Active Value Fund, which trades on the London Stock Exchange. Most specifically, the market capitalizations of the different investment groups is the ma most materially different. In other words, for Nippon Active Value Fund, we only focus on very, very small illiquid companies trading at very large discounts to their current and true value. At the Alliance Trust, we focus on large cap companies, which also trade at significant discounts to their true values. The basic philosophy is exactly the same between the two different trusts, but the market capitalizations of the companies themselves is the great differentiator. And we believe that you can invest and make money both in large cap companies as well as small cap companies in Japan today.